here at the, at the entrance of the Temple Mount, al Aqsa Mosque, uh, just less than a day uh, after the Iranic actually bombed Jerusalem, or tried to bomb Jerusalem, and thank, thank God that it failed because of Israel that bombed all the rockets, all the rockets uh, that they sent here. And um, if you watch my video, you know that you saw that uh, they actually almost destroyed the Temple Mount, the um, um, uh, Al-Aqsa Mosque, and we are going to see what happened to it. For the record, that used to be the uh, still the most important place for the Jews. This is the site of the Jewish temple that was built by King Herod. And, oh, why not? And what I want you to see is that. Remember the um, uh, foundation stone? Right. Yeah. The foundation stone is right here, beneath the Dome of the Rock. Sadly, we as non-Muslims cannot enter to it. We enter through that ugly bridge, and you will see the bridge soon. You can see the Western Wall Plaza. Okay. All right, then let's, let's enter. I don't look so good. <laughs> cool. All right. It's okay. Yeah. But you must understand one thing, that this is my third day with a group. Oh, that's right. We're yes, with a group. With a group. Yeah, with a group. Uh, it's not that I'm, I'm working. I'm well, getting money for that. In that case, if you can get me with a cat. <laughs> so the, the focus will be on the cat. No, it's all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Then um, we actually came from the Western Wall. And we know that the Western Wall is only a small part of the wall that King Herod built. And you can see it, uh, you can see it through that ugly wooden bridge for the non-Muslim community to enter to the Temple Mount. And it's a Bar Mitzvah day. The Jews are celebrating Bar Mitzvah. When you are reaching 13 years old, you, you are becoming a man. And you can preach. You can read the Bible in front of everyone. And here it is. It's divided into two, the women department and the mail department. Now there are two kinds of uh, police here. The first one that we saw already, and they checked our bags because we cannot bring a uh, religious item to here. Uh, then the first one that were the Israeli police. Some of them are Muslims. You will see more of the Israeli police next to the entrance, just to avoid riots. They won't enter unless something will happen. The second police will be of uh, the waqf, the Muslims. And they will check that we are dressed properly. They must ask you to wear uh, something else. Mm -hmm. Bokato. And the walk supposed to be here, but are not. Then you can enter, just like that. Yeah. Today we will deal with the Western Wall, with the Temple Mount, um, in kind of a Christian perspective story. For the Christians, the, te the Temple Mount that was built by King Herod, which we don't like, uh, is important because. Jesus was here as a Jew three times a year. There are three festivals, Jewish festivals, that everyone must uh, participate. And Jesus was here in Passover. He never been here uh, for uh, Easter. Are you taping me? Yeah. Here, for example, you can see some columns from the this Jewish looks temple. Old. This looks old. Yeah, all of them look old. There are, there are uh, columns from the Crusader time as well, and uh, the Jewish time. Then what you can see here, that everything looks okay. Thanks God we stopped all the missiles from Iran. And I think now you can understand that when we are talking about uh, Hamas and Hezbollah, I'm not talking about Palestinians. I'm talking about servants of Iran, that their, their mission is to destroy Israel. The, um, you came with me and we ate falafel. Uh -huh. 
he is a Palestinian Muslim guy. He didn't see any hate. No. Then the hate is not between, uh, between Palestinians, which are free. The hate is between terrorists and democratic country of Israel. And I think that once you will hear it, you will understand that some of you made so many great mistakes when you actually told, when he actually sent me some horrible comments. Israel it is, it is a country of love and peace. And I wish that we will find a solution. And we can attest to that. Yeah, they can attest to that. Here it is. But you know what it is? Olives. 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 Those are olives. the future olives. olives. And then in that case, Jesus was here three times a year because every Christian had, every Jew had to be in the city to pray. But the disciples were here a lot. And when every time when Jesus came, he actually visited place every day and he was preaching here. Today you can see um, two main structures, which are Muslim uh, uh, structures. Uh, one of them is to your right side, and this is the Al-Aqsa Mosque. And the Dome of the Rock, soon you will see it. For the Jews and for the Christians, the Dome of the Rock is important because of the rock beneath the dome. You saw it at the beginning of the video. That is the first stone ever that was built by God when he created the world. And that is where Ada, uh, Abraham, Abraham almost sacrificed me, Isaac. But the most important thing is that God asked the Jews to build his house on top of that stone. Then the Holy of the Holy for the Jews and for the Christians, in a way, is that stone. But before we will actually talk about that, let's turn around. I know the sun will be in your eyes, but this is Al-Aqsa Mosque. According to the Muslims, although Jerusalem was never mentioned in the Bible, Muhammad had an amazing night ride from Mecca to here, to Al-Aqsa. And from here, which is Al-Aqsa, it's the last, last, last uh, mosque. From here, he went to the foundation stone, ascended into heaven and met God himself who gave him the five prayers of a day. And that's why it's very important for the Muslims. It's actually the third important place for the Muslims in the world after Mecca and Medina. For us as Christians, I'm going back to here. Look at the facade of the Al-Aqsa. Looks like a church, isn't it? Then we believe that the facade originally was built by the crusader who occupied it at the 12th century. And let me take you Uh, then we are going to the south east corner. We are almost the only tourists here. Uh, it's few days after Eid al Fitr and Ramadan. At that time, it was close to uh, to the non-Muslims, and it was beautiful. I mean, if you saw videos of it. Hundreds of thousands of uh, disciples, Muslim disciples, were praying here. These are all cedar trees, aren't they? This is, yes. And this was all built by Herod. This Most of it, not all of it, because it's been destroyed at okay. 780. I want you to see that it looks like the facade was glue to the Al Aqsa. All right, then what we actually now believe that this part is um, um, from uh, the Crusader time. Let's go to a different place, that, another place that I didn't show you. And yes, you can ask me whatever you want. Remember that I said that Zechariah, the father of future John the Baptist, was here? Mm -hmm. uh, he was... Um, Burn the incense at the temple. Then when the crusader came to here, they built a chapel dedicated to him. Oh, yeah, you can see how many birds there are here. And if you look at that, 
It looks like a church. You can see the Rosetta? Yes. Remember, it's actually very similar to the uh, synagogue of Mary Magdalene that we saw. That what we believe is, uh, what, sorry, what we know is that that used to be Zachariah, Zachariah uh, Chapel at the Crusade time. The father of John the Baptist. Why the future father? Because now the angel, when he was in the temple, which was there, told him that he was going to have a son. Sorry? I'm fine, thank you. Ah, great. Well, he saw my videos on YouTube, oh, and I'm, I'm not sure that he was happy. He wasn't happy? Yeah, because I'm talking about the... I'm not talking only about the Muslim area. I'm talking about uh, Christian and Muslim and uh, Jews here. You can see that that floor is totally new. That floor is new because in 2000, the Muslims here made a major, horrible archaeological mistake. They built themselves another part of the temple, of uh, the mosque, which is good, but they destroy all the archaeological evidence. They, they got, they sent yes, them. yeah, yeah. Okay. This is another great mistake of them. They sent it to the Kidron Valley, and uh, we, uh, you can actually excavate yeah. as well and find so I many things. Away, yes. Is it far away? It is, uh, no, it's not far away. It's on top of the Mount of Olives. Oh, then so you can walk in any day and do that. Yes, you? except on Friday and Saturday. Uh, then you can see that that floor is uh, totally new. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was, is, was yeah, small. that that was the main entrance of the temple. It was three thousand years. Of yes, and it been destroyed. The now there's nothing left from it. But they're finding things. They're going through it now. The good thing is that we find things and we actually have so many evidence for the existence of the Jewish temple, which is not so good for the Muslims who wanted to delete that part of... Uh... And I'm going to add something that I forgot to add last time. I was talking about the devil that tried Jesus. Yeah, it was three times that he tried him. Two were, were in Jericho, a temptation month. And one was here at the corner. He said, he told um, uh, Jesus, jump. If you believe in God, he will catch you. And uh, oh, no, this is the corner. Think it's the corner. Of course. Uh, because it, it, the, the Bible mentioned, I think, the east corner. I think then and this is the east corner. There's one here and the one the other side. True or not, we don't know. Uh, but why not to believe if, if so many people believe that it was there? But what I forgot to mention, remember the presentation at the temple? Yes. Jesus, the Holy Family came to here to sacrifice. Which well, have been over there, right? True, but the, the bed of Jesus, according to the uh, Byzantine Christians, the room that they stayed when they came to the, um, to the presentation was just beneath us. Yeah, very close to the place that it was tried by the devil. And here we can see the uh, yeah. Mount Olives. Here you can see, no, Mount of Olives is straight ahead. Straight. Here you can see the city of David. Let me see if we can see something from here. Yeah, a little bit of city of David. You can see the Kidron Valley. And city of David is to the right. Oh, this is a big, beautiful picture to take. What you can see from here is the Jewish, the Jewish temple. Uh, sorry, the Jewish cemetery. Yeah. And remember, outside the gate. And this is not less than Mount of Olives. Go, go and look for it. You are not going to fall. And look at the valley, you can see some, um, wow. you can see uh, Zachariah tomb That's at the valley, tomb. yeah, yeah, yeah. Some believe, the Christians believe that this is the same Zachariah that uh, was the father of uh, John Bap the Baptist. But we might think, we, we are not sure that it was Zachariah anyhow, 
uh, it might be one of the priests, Jewish priests that been killed here by the Jews on the Temple Mount. Then the, when Jesus came to here for the first time, it was the presentation of the temple ceremony. Um, it's a Jewish ceremony until today. When you do have a firstborn son, you must go to donate something. Today, there's no Jewish temple, and they are going to the synagogues and donating cheap food and lousy wine. But at that time, at the ancient time, God told us what to do. Because he didn't want competition. If you are rich, one shekel is enough. If you are middle class, a goat and a dove for sacrifice, and I will show you exactly where they sacrifice the, the animals. And if you are poor, two doves for sacrifice. Then in that case, the Holy Family sacrificed it. Uh, uh, animals on it. What, what? Oh, the fire. Oh, the structure there. I'll ask him what's next to it. All right. You can see, you can see the beautiful uh, uh, structure, right. the dome and, uh, and uh, there's a tower next to it. Right. This is the Dormition Church. That's where I want to end the story and the tour today. Mount, uh, Mount Zion, that's where Mary fell asleep. That's where the room of the Last Supper is. That's where the tomb of King David is. There's so many places here in the city. So what is this dome? I, I, this is Al Aqsa Mosque. This is the mosque itself. It's okay. the third, so, the golden dome. What? Yeah, what's why I thought the Al Aqsa Mosque. This is Al Aqsa Mosque. Today, yeah. everything that you see around it is called Al Aqsa. Okay. But at uh, but uh, the original place was here, and this is the mosque. But today, you can pray everywhere. Okay. Then that is from seventh century. But they're going to. Are they renovating the dome? Are they going to replace it? Put gold not on? that I not that I know. But okay. they did it to the golden dome. The golden dome. The golden dome. They did it. That's the dome. That's yeah, and we are heading there. Okay, I'm, I'm just holding. Yeah, but let's no, let's. The yeah. golden dome was the Alexa mosque, but it isn't. Let me show you another thing. Oh. Then, at that time, when you were non-Jew, you can you could visit the Temple of King Herod, but you couldn't enter to a special area. The Holy of the, the there's like the Holy of the Holy, then only the high priest can, and right. then the rest is for the Jews. But here, it's for the non-Jewish community. You saw the Hasidis and the religious people. And last time when we be here. The police took them from here to there because they are not touching the Holy of the Holy. They want, don't want to be close to that place. This is one of the entrances to the lower um, temple. Then let's go from there. There's a shade, there's a shade, and there's a cat. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kiss, 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 kiss. Kitty, kitty, kitty. It's the orange cats that like us. <laughs> you remember a particular uh, cat? All right, all right. Now, thanks God, uh, the, uh, not, nothing happened here, and the Iranic didn't destroy it. And I'm taking you to see an, another evidence from the time of uh, King Herod. It's so strange to see that there are not a lot of people. Then, uh, about the, 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 the nation, uh, um, um, the Holy Family donated two doves because we are talking about a, a, a poor family. But when they did it, St. Simon, a priest from the Jewish temple, came to them and said, um, he, he actually told Mary, your son will die in front of your eyes. It's going to be like a spear entering into your heart. You can understand what's happening to, the, to Mary. It's her own son, the only son. And then suddenly she knows what's going to happen. Then from that moment, she never smiled. Then we will revisit today the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. You will see 
that she never smiled. If you will visit the Nativity Church Bethlehem, she's still smiling. That stone might be one of the um, um, steps, stairs oh, into see. the city, into the temple. This is old. This is from the first century. So Mary would have donated two doves because they were poor? Yes, and, and remember, no competition. Then in that case, this is what they donated. Now let's climb up those stairs and look how beautiful it is. And you can see from time to time a lot of columns, ancient columns, can be from, I mean, if it's marble, it's not from, uh, from uh, King Herod time, it's from uh, the Crusader time. Like that. Then this is the temple. Now it's a laksa. And now it's the Dome of the Rock. And yes, I'm taking you to see the face. Don't worry. We will see the face again. Look how amazing it is. I know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's, you're just like me. When you've been here once, you know what to do. Um, and in that case, the Holy of the Holy was here. Uh, above, the, uh, above the stone that we believe now that uh, Muhammad descended into heaven as well. And um, then it's, it's good to see because it's holy, holy, holy. It started with the Jebusite, the Canaanite people, that King David bought it from them, then that was holy. And then it became a Jewish place. And then it became a Muslim place. And then it became a Christian place. Well, and then a Muslim place. Was Solomon's temple. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. A holy place will always stay holy, even if it will be a different the same religion. Dimension, same yeah. No, uh, no. Oh, no. Remember that the Jewish temple was between two to three times higher, okay. bigger, but it's still impressive. Oh, and if you're talking about the, the Golden Dome, they, they they renovated it. Uh, I think King Hussein, the Jordanian king, mm -hmm. sold one of the palaces to build it. If we are talking about that. Who control that place? First of all, Israel. But they are not in charge of it. The one who is taking care of everything here are not the Palestinians. It's the Jordanians. When they, we signed the agreement between the Jordan and Israel, they asked to, to, to keep that place for themselves, that if we need to do something, it's according to them. But municipality belongs to Jerusalem, Israel. Did I say that it's going to be easy to understand? No. No. And you can see that they are falling now. The, the holiday start, uh, ended yesterday or the day before. Then they are falling uh, everything. Uh, and, and that maybe that's the reason why there are not a lot of Muslims now, because they've already been here for a month. Then, um, but Israel controls who comes here on Ramadan, right? Control, actually checking, not really control. They wanted to control and then they decided not to. Just uh, yeah. Uh, beneath it are so many water systems, but I want you to, to reach that place. I just love that place. Jews, until lately, weren't supposed to hear, be here because it's a holy site. But politically, a lot of the Jews are now entering. I'm talking about religious Jews. Okay. Before they are entering to here, just like before they enter to the temple, they have to purify their, their body. Remember we saw the Magdala, some uh, uh, mikves, Jewish ritual bath? Then there are hundreds like that in Jerusalem. A man and a woman must do that. I don't know if you saw the Hasidis. You should have no uh, fancy leather shoes then some of the Jews that are entering here are walking without shoes at all, barefoot. Oh, shoes yeah. Right. yeah. Then, that's where we believe the sacrificial altar was. Then that's where the Holy Family um, sacrificed the, the doves. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
And in a way, that structure is in the center of the month. The Holy of the Holy is not in the center of the month. It's very close to the Correct. Western Wall. Such a beautiful place. Uh, if we're talking about beautiful place, I've been here with an um, evangelist woman. And the minute I said it's a beautiful place, she looked at me and said, I don't want you to be my tour guide. Because? Because this is an ugly place. It's supposed to be the church temple. Oh, I see. <laughs> but it's still a beautiful place. Then don't fire me, please. <laughs> Although that, I wasn't thinking of firing you, but when you said it's a beautiful place, in my head I went, well, yes. It's a beautiful it's structure. Sure. I mean, look yeah, at that. I mean, right. it's so beautiful. And right. the funny thing is, if you're talking about Christians, they, uh, you can see the tiles. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, the Armenian Christians prepared those tiles until Turkey said, sorry, uh, we found someone who will do that for free. Then, then the sum of, of those tiles are made by Christian Armenian. Okay. Let me show you a little bit of Mount of Olives. After Jesus' time, I mean, at, at Holy Week, Jesus was here every day. Remember the Palm Sunday procession? Mm -hmm. From Mount of Olives to here. Right, yeah, he pulled the tables uh -huh. just outside the table of the salesman. But if you're talking about the importance of it, can you see the tower? Yes. Right. This is for next time. This is where he ascended into heaven. And we are very close to that time. It's going to be soon. Uh, 40 days. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you see the... The, the, the Russian, uh, church, yeah, yeah, so. but before the Russian, which is less important for us right. as for Jesus, Jesus wasn't there. Oh, at least now I, I will get so many comments from the Russian. All right, sorry. Uh, can you see there? There's kind of a garden surrounded with a wall, and there's a small chapel with a black dome. Yes. Yeah. yeah. This is Dominus Flavit. The Lord wept when Jesus entered the city. He came to there and wept and he looked at us and he said this city of Jerusalem will be destroyed and by that he meant the temple too because from there he saw the temple if you're talking about the golden uh, dome it is a Russian church of Mary Magdalene a beautiful church but beneath it is the next place that we are going to visit which is Garden of Gethsemane Right, then you will see the Kidron Valley as well. Then, should we continue from there or from there? Choose. Well, we're going to walk all the way around there, please. Uh, then let's do that like that because we want to go out from there. Okay, so we'll go around. Yeah, let's make a round tour. I want to get another picture of the, uh, the stone of the face. Oh, of the face, of course. This time we'll take a picture of you and the face. Oh, no. Why not? I don't want to associate with demons. <laughs> <laughs> then he can he can show he can look at it with a yeah, scary yeah. face. So if I were Muslim, yes, could I go in? Of course you can. Right now, of so course you can. It's open 24 hours a day. Okay. From time to time, when I do have a, a big group, a variety of really, I mean, lots of religion people and it's not including the Temple Mount I'm forcing them to go to Al-Aqsa to pray or to be here for 10 day, 10 minutes instead of uh, following me to the Western Mall Now how do they know if you're a Muslim? Ah, Alright, remember the two police right. Then you're entering not from the place that we enter oh, because this is here and then they actually look at you and say hey Mr. Blonde guy you doesn't look like a, a Muslim guy but when you show them a um, letter ID with the name Muhammad, then you might be. But then you're crossing to the other side and the walk, the Muslim police from Jordan, uh, actually they are from here, but they're getting salary from the Jordanian. 
They will look at him and say, hey, 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 I need to know everything about you uh, to see if you're really a Muslim guy. And if they are not convinced, although his name was Muhammad, they won't let him go him. Oh, the face was there. Yeah, we passed it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The face she's talking about, it's a beautiful thing, a demon. Yeah, and she came, and this is, I think, one of the first things that you saw. I didn't even realize. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. It looks like a demon. It is, it is. They, uh, what, what they did here, they cut it into four places. Then it looks, it's symmetric. It's beautiful. It's scary. And scary. <laughs> What's the, any significance of that? People don't know. No one knows. I think it's happened because of the marble itself. Right. But it's too much of a coincidence. I think there's some meaning to some supernatural meaning. Okay. I think so. You know, when you don't know the reason, it's you have so many speculations <laughs> about it. Yeah. Look how beautiful is this city. And let's stop here for just a moment. Can you see there are two, two, two white towers? Look at the right one. Yeah. To the left of it, you can see two domes. Yes. Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Okay. And that's the mosque. Right? Now, for the, yes, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, 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 there's no mosque. Uh, no, that, the no, the two white towers, no, 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 no. What is that tower? The, the tower to the left is, um, uh, um, it's a, a Lutheran church of the, the Redeemer. And the other one, it's, it's, uh, it's um, San Salvador. It's, um, the center of uh, the Latin church, Latin uh, neighborhood. And what was the church that we almost visited when we came the last time? We oh, almost mass. visited? And what's, what what the story uh, was about? I, that's what I don't remember, but there was a mass going on. I don't remember. I don't um, let But it me... was a very important church. It's not inside the church of the Holy Sepulchre. Not inside it. Okay. Then I'm not sure that I know. The entrance to the Dome of the Rock is from here, but it, of course we cannot go in. Oh, it's so cool and nice here. And this is the main entrance to it. And um, if you will look at Google, you will find so many pictures of uh, the, the, the rock. There is a cave beneath it. And if I'm talking about the Christians, and we saw the Ascension area. The Ascension Church belongs to the Muslims today. It's another Muslim place. And there is a footprint of uh, Jesus. Right. I've been there. You've been there, it yeah. It's a box for money. True, yeah, donation. <laughs> uh, but, but there was supposed to be two. Some people believe that, again, I'm not sure that I know, there's another mark of, of, um, of the foot uh, on top of the cave. Now remember, according to the Muslim, Muhammad ascended into heaven from there, then right. might be his footprint, might be Jesus' footprint, we don't know. Right. The, but the importance of it is for the Christians that the temple, that temple is not important anymore because every church is the temple. That's right. And when we visit the church of the Holy Sepulcher, I will show you that so many things that used to be here moved to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. With me, I forgot to mention Mary. Mary, Mary, according to Catholic and Orthodox churches, was born not so far away from here, just outside the um, um, uh, the walls, the northern wall of the temple that King Herod built, uh, and uh, because she was sinless. She served the temple. She was here until she got the first spirit. Mm -hmm. Then in that case, Mary was here. Um, I know that for the Protestant, when I'm talking about it, it's kind of a silly. How can you talk about something that is not written in the Bible? But, but we accepting to accept everything. The Jewish way, the Muslim way, the Christian way. This is the beauty of that place because that is such a holy place. And one last story, and I remembered it because we talked about the Golden Gate. The Golden Gate is a sealed gate. No one can enter and go out. 
But we believe that when Jesus will come again, he will enter to the temple from that gate. That's why it's such an important uh, story for us. And it's actually located right there. And according to the Catholic and the Orthodox, according to the Evangelion uh, of James, second century, Joachim and Hannah, the future father and mother of Mary, met themselves right there after the angel told them that they're going to have a child, although they couldn't have children in that crazy world and they were too old for that, then this is the gate, the golden gate. This is such an important thing. As you can understand, the Temple Mount got so many, so many facts of Christianity. I mean, uh, um, what about St. Peter? He was here for so many times, so many times. The disciples were here after Jesus sent it to heaven. To St. Paul. St. Paul was here so many times. And when he actually converted into Christianity and he came to he came back to here, he was sure. I mean they told him that the Jews will uh, try to kill him. And uh, no, the Roman did. But they tried. But he was here and he said, I, I'm, I'm a Jew, I'm going to be here, I'm going to pray here. Then he was here after Damascus mm -hmm. as well. Beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, now we, it's the end of the video. We are leaving from the tribe, tribe's gate uh, and we are heading to Garden of Gethsemane. <laughs>